hey guys welcome back to my channel mahaguru yash architecture classes and right now we are preparing for our gate 2020 architecture exam and for that we've started solving our previous year's question papers and from today's video onwards we'll be star we'll start solving gate 2013 question paper so i'll be linking down everything like my notes and the question paper and answer sheet in the description box below you can get the link from there <clears throat> moreover if during the video if you got any doubt please add it up to my email or we can discuss that in the dis comment box below moreover i won't be discussing any aptitude questions only the architecture part would be discussed here so let us start with today's video so this is the question paper <coughs> yeah let us see what's the what is the first question the first question says in case of a residential apartments the effective floor area available for use within an apartment is known as what so four terms have been given carpet area built up area plain theory and super built up area so this the line given is basically the uh, the definition for carpet area so I've got my notes and you can get the link of these notes in the description box below where I've explained every term in detail. So carpet area is basically the full area of house <coughs> excluding area of walls, kitchen, toilet and passage. Only 50% of the balcony is to be added. But the built up area is the carpet area plus all the thicknesses balcony in the kitchen toilets. In the plinth area you add up the built up area with the common areas. Whereas in super built up area, you uh, in the built in the built up area, you try to add up your common amenities like the lift staircase. So when we talk about flats and apartments, super built up area is taken in consideration where a considered proportion of lifts, lobbies is taken in your areas. So the answer becomes carpet area. <coughs> the next question is. The star rating of an air conditioner is determined by it. The answer is energy efficiency ratio. So for air conditioner, the measure of energy efficiency is the energy efficiency ratio for cooling and coefficient of performance for heating. The cooling capacity generally means the amount of heat removed by the air conditioner from a space for a given time. And, uh, and your energy efficiency ratio is basically your cooling capacity divided by the power consumption where's the cool and you've got the definition for cooling capacity here and it is measure generally measured in BTUs so one ton is basically 1200 BTUs or 3517 watt or one BTU is also equal to 1055 joules <coughs> So both cooling capacity and power consumption can be measured in watts as well. The next question is V7 concept given by Lee Corbusier refers to which of the following options. So Lee Corbusier designed the famous city of Chandigarh where he divided the plan of Chandigarh into various sectors and these sectors were divided with different kinds of roads. So basically there were seven different hierarchy of roads and they were uh, nomenclatured as V1 to V7. So in the notes you can see which uh, hierarchy of uh, roads refer to which of the type of which type of road. <coughs> the next question is in AutoCAD a line of infinite length in the direction defined by starting point and through point is known as ray line p line or x line so it has a definite definite starting point and through a point with infinite length so you have this point and this point so it starts with this point passes through and it's of infinite length so this type of line is known as ray basic geometry is lay. line is like infinite in both the two directions p line is a combination of multiple lines and x line is an infinite line The next question is, Orbit Tower built at the London Olympic Park has been designed by whom? So in the notes, I have given you the picture of the... So the London, uh, the Orbit Tower is also known as the Arcelor Mittal Orbit Tower. Arcelor is the was the mayor of uh, 
London who sanctioned this uh, tower. So it was basically designed by Anish Kapoor and Cecil Balmain. So this, uh, there, so you can see some questions are like really direct and some are indirect and some are numerical type. So we still haven't got any numerical type till now in this video. So let us move on to the next question. The next question is, as per National Building Code 2005, the minimum size of habitable room is. So under uh, NBC 2005, the area of habitable rooms have been mentioned as the room requirement and the sizes have been given as areas where houses are less than 50 meters square and where houses are more than 50 meters square. So since nothing has been uh, given in the question, we mostly prefer areas or houses with area more than 50 meters square. So for that, I have a table from the NBC. You can refer this where the various sizes of the rooms have been given as in the habitable room is 9.5 meters square. Kitchens are 5 meters square. Bathrooms are 1.8 meters square. Water closets in your WCs are 1.1 meters square. Store rooms have a minimum of 3 meters square. Garage is 12.5. Staircases are 15 meters square. So these are basically the areas. The height has to be 2.75 meters and the width of every width of every room has to be minimum. The width of habitable room must be equal to at least 2.4 meters. And for the uh, for kitchens, it's 1.5 meters. For bathrooms, it's 1.2 meter. And typically for these. <coughs> the next question is, the urban form of Srinagaram town in Tamil Nadu refers to which of the following? So I have a... Uh, a chart which has your ancient town planning principles and the eight types of uh, planning organization or the planning types. You've got Dandaka, Nandevarta, Sarvato Bhadra, Swastika, Prastara, Padmaka, Karmuka and Chaturmuka. So Shri Naga, Shri Rangam is, was of Sarvato Bhadra style. So this is what you have to keep in mind. And you have to keep in mind these these are the eight important parts and a number of times these uh, this question has been asked in gate as well so jaipur was in a tribe of prastara because you've seen uh, nine squares logic there and the banaras hindu university was karmoka style and if this is karmoka this is where the river flows the next question is PMGSY, a program of Government of India, deals, deals with which of the following? So PMGSY stands from Padhan Mantri, Pradhan Mantri Gram Sadak Yojana. So you've got two terms, Gram and Sadak. Sadak. So Gram means a village or a rural area, whereas Sadak means road. So it is somewhere related to road development. <coughs> so for detailed, uh, no, uh, for detailed knowledge, you can refer my notes as well. The next question is beam or the lowest division of an end up lecher which extends from column to column is known as what? So I have got the typical section of uh, column. So it says the lowest uh, the beam beam or the lowest division of end up lecher. So end up lecher's lowest division is architrave. So this is the beam which runs from all the columns. Hence the answer is architrave which runs or extends from every column and is basically the beam. <coughs> that is why it has the minimum number of minimum amount of uh, since it's a beam it is called minimum amount of ornamentation there. <coughs> the next question is the information that is not essential to be submitted for a sanction of any building plan. So site plan is an important part for corporation drawing. Even floor plans have to be given. Title deeds as in the format has to be properly found. And the land cost is not required as in it is not a part of uh, the municipal corporation which deals with it. Hence the answer becomes land cost. <coughs> the next question is, 
the tendency of an ecosystem to maintain its balance by regulatory mechanisms when disrupted is the answer is basically homeostasis and let us discuss on the four options given as well so homeostasis is the ability to maintain a constant internal environment in response to environmental changes Entropy is the measure of number of ways in a systems can be arranged. So it is basically the measure of disorder. Suc ecological succession is the gradual is the gradual process by which ecosystems change and develop over over time. Whereas evolution is the process of heritage change and population of organism over multiple generations. So these are the basic uh, biological terms discussed here. The next question is. Gantt chart does not provide information about which of the following. <coughs> so here I have got uh, a Gantt chart, Gantt chart bar, Gantt bar chart. Sorry. So let us see these four terms. The first term is list of jobs. Yeah, on this side, uh, the types of jobs have been given here. The next option is duration of jobs. So here, <coughs> if this is the bar of the work the whole bar represents the total time and the shaded part represents how much it is completed so it is giving so it is somewhere giving us the duration of the job moreover the progress of the work whereas interdependency of jobs properly hasn't been mentioned you can study from the graph on a very uh, course and then as something after this something this will start after this uh, ends but sometimes in these cases where these are overlapping you do not have a clear justification as in which activity will start after which activity hence it lacks at that point for that uh, cpm methods and perts are very good options <coughs> the next question is if the threshold of uh, sound of hearing has a sound level of 0 decibel and the sound level in a broadcasting studio is 100 times the threshold its value in decibel would be so it has been given that uh, the sound level is the sound uh, the sound level in a broadcasting studio is 100 times the threshold of hearing then the value in decibels would be so your val db is equal to 10 log 10 i1 by i2 where i1 is the given intensity and i2 is the threshold intensity so let us given given that i1 is basically 100 of i2 sorry yes okay so if you solve you you solve this so your l is equal to 10 log i1 is 100 i2 by i2 so this becomes 10 log 100 so 10 log 100 is 10 log 10 to the power 2. So in these cases, you take a base of uh, 10, base 10. So it has a base 10. So it becomes 20 log 10 base 10. So log 10 base 10 is 1. So it becomes 20 into 1, which is equal to 20 decibels. Hence the answer becomes 20 decibels. The next question is the width to height ratio of the front facade of Parthenon is which of the following. So when you read the question, your first instinct would be the answer is 1 is to 1.618 because the front facade of the Pantheon is in golden ratio. But the question asks the front facade of Parthenon without the pediments. Hence, you have to calculate it properly. So I will tell you how to solve it out in a very simple process. So you know that the height to width ratio is in golden ratio. This is 1 is to 1.618, right? 1 is to 1.618. You know this proper diagram, how a spiral of golden ratio is formed. So this, this is 1, this is also 1. If this is 1 and this is 1.618, so let's just, like, let's just assume this is 1. It has a factor of something x. So this is 1. 1.618 if this is 1 this is the square so this also becomes 1 if this is 1 this is le it is left with 0 0.618 okay this is 0 0.618 so now come to this square the next golden ratio square 
okay so we've got this as one this thing as one if th this becomes zero, this is one it is a square right it is a square so if this is 0 0.618 this part is also 0.618 if this is 0.618 this part as in your this length is 1 minus 0.618 so 1 minus 0.618 gives you 0.382 now let's come to the next golden ratio uh, rectangle this okay if this your this was 0.382 so if this is 0.382 2 this length is 0.618 so this part would be 0 0.382 my uh, 0.618 0 0.618 minus 0 0.382 if this is 0 0.382 this part becomes 0 0.236 right <coughs> now this golden ratio rectangle you've got this length this length again a square you get this so now from just solving till this process you can see that your pediment measures 0.236 your enter pleasure me measures point z uh, 0.146 0.146 yes and your column is 0 0.618 so you have to find a ratio of uh, front facade height by base right width to height sorry width to height right without pediment so your width so your width is so you have to find the, the ratio of this part width to height So your ratio becomes uh, width is equal to this much is 1.618 is equal to 1.618 and your height becomes column your common length columns length is 0.618 and you have an entablature of 0.146 this is equal to 0 0.146 plus 0 0.618 right so this is basically equal to 1.618 divided by 0 0.764 which is equal to 2.11 so the ratios have here it is given in ratio so you convert these into uh, decimals and it is 2.111 so 9 by 4 is somewhere 2.111 so this is the closest answer so this question was a bit tricky but still simple to solve if you have got your basics right the next question is the face of an isohedron i it's an isohedron sorry isohedron is so an isohedron is formed by various uh, equilateral triangles in 3d 3d in 3d so i've got different 3d figures an isohedron looks like something like this right the next question is the term Z gist used in contemporary architecture refers to what? So Z gist is a concept from 18th to 19th century in German philosophy, which means the spirit of the age or the spirit of the times. <coughs> As in, there's an invisible agent or a force which dominates the characteristics of that time. As in, if there is some architectural feature or any kind of movement going on, it is because of some invisible force at that time as in renaissance was a f architectural um, renaissance was a bigger movement but it had some influences on your architecture as well as in some spirit of that time or some force is dominating or is also influencing your architecture as well okay okay let's move on to the next question the next question says <coughs> Alhambra, a UNESCO World Heritage Site, is an example of what? So, Alhambra Palace is in Granada, Spain, and it is a type of, it's a small uh, fortress. Uh, the typology is Moorish architecture, it is something Islamic plus your European influences. 
the next question is Wythin Shaw and Beacon Tree are examples of which of the following? So Wythin Shaw and Beacon Tree are examples of satellite towns and Welwyn and Lechworth are examples of Garden City movement. So you can read these two in a very crisp brief in the notes provided. The next question is National Ceremonial Plaza at Thimpu in Bhutan has been defined by whom? So it's a direct question and this has been designed by Christopher Charles Benninger. <coughs> so the new democratic nation was born in 2007 as in uh, Bhutan was born in 2007. And the National Ceremonial Plaza by Professor Christopher Charles Benninger of CCBA which is the Christopher Charles Benninger architect designed this monastery. So you can refer these notes for more detailed answers. Next question is the physiochemical process of removing microorganisms color and turbidity from silage and sewage uh, was known as putrefaction, clarification, liquefaction and infiltration. The problem which happened in this question was the question didn't had the right answer hence marks to all was given. But we'll still study the following four options. What does they mean? So putrefaction is the process of decay or rotting in a body or organic matter. Your clarification means removing all kinds of particles. Liquefaction is a phenomenon in which the strength and stiffness of a soil is reduced by earthquake. Whereas infiltration is the process by which water or ground surfaces enter the soil. So nothing matches with the answer. Hence marks to all was provided. The next question is identify which is not a green building rating system. So you've got LEED, CASB, Energy Build and BRIAM. So I've provided with your world map which tells you which uh, sorry which energy building rating system is used in which of the following. So you've got uh, LEED first. So LEED is found in India and Emirates, Mexico, USA and Canada. The next is CASB. So CASB is found in uh, your uh, Dubai. Energy Build is basically a software and not a rating system. And BRIAM is used in your UK. Hence, Energy Build is the right answer. Next question is travel behavior. Sorry. Next question is in 3ds Max. Smooth 3D services by blending a series of uh, selected shape can create can be created by lofting. So if this something of a sh this is your shape. You have an end shape of this thing. So you have an you can see if this is your first shape. I am drawing this in elevation. Sorry in plan. And your next is is the bottom this part and your up is this thing. So uh, you can see in elevation it's in plan like this. And it is um, so it has to loft itself in this way, right? Something in so this is known as lofting. So you have a selected in uh, two different surfaces, two different polylines or different surfaces. They loft it up in this direction. So in all contemporary buildings, this option has been used in lot to create buildings in parametricism basically next question is the travel behavior characteristics of an urban area can be derived from what so tra travel behavior is basically derived from the origin and destination survey so the origin and destination survey provides you a detailed picture of the trip patterns and the travel choices of a city's region's residents so what basically is done is every people's coming in time and a coming out time and the mode of tra mode of traveling is uh, studied under this survey the next question is in gis the set of ent entities representing vector data type is it's a direct question if you've got basic knowledge of gis you will directly put an option uh, correct tick your option tick trick your Take your option as option a which is point line polygon and tier these are the four options so this is something like if you, you if you're doing your coordinate geometry, every point has an x and y value. Similarly, 
any vector data type in GIS is given by these four uh, set of entities. So the last question for today's video is a common flowering shrub is which of the following? So if you if you read this question, you'll be like, oh my god, you've got too much of options and all botanical names have been provided. So basically, Tectona grandis is uh, tect I so in the notes you can refer this and I've given some frequently asked uh, botanical names and their common names in the notes below. So Tectona grandis is basically teak. Mem uh, Memphis uh, elengi is bakul or the Indian medicine plant sangam. Your Dalberia siso is Dalberia siso is shisham, and an, an Ixora coquinia is a small flowering plant, famous in Sri Lanka and southern South Southern India. The uh, the flowering part is Ixora coquinia, and these three are just bigger trees with leaves available. So guys, this is it for today's video. If you've got any doubts throughout the video, please feel free to write it up to my email or we can discuss that in the description in the comment box below. Moreover, all this data which I've shared you, my note, the question paper and the answer key would be linked down in the description box below. And please do like, comment, subscribe and share, uh, share this channel and I'll be back with the part two of this uh, of the gate 2013. Thank you for watching me. I'll be back with the next video. Thank you.